Hey everyone, welcome to Witcode. Where in this video, we're going to learn what accessions are, how they work with cookies to add persistence to an application, the difference between a session and a cookie, session security, what a session cookie is, and how to customize a session cookie. So to begin, what is a session? Well, a session is a series of browser requests that come from the same client during a given time period. And why do we need sessions? Well, websites use the HTTP protocol, and HTTP is stateless, meaning that after each request and response, the client and server forget everything about each other. If we want the client and server to remember one another, we can use a session. Sessions contain data about the client, allowing the server to keep track of the user. And now let's talk about cookies versus sessions. Well, both cookies and sessions are used for storing data across different page loads, but cookies are stored in the client while sessions are stored on the server. And as such, sensitive information should not be stored on a cookie as anyone can access it. Instead, sensitive information should be stored on the server by using sessions. Now, how do sessions work? Well, when a client has successfully logged in, the server will create a session and store it. The server then responds to the client with a cookie that contains the session's unique ID. This cookie is then sent with every request to the server. The server then looks at the session ID in the cookie and looks at the saved session data, usually from a database. So once more, session data is stored in the server, but a unique ID is stored on the client in a cookie. This ID is then used by the server to get relevant information about the user. Therefore, sessions work with cookies in tandem. And now let's start using sessions with Express. And to use sessions with Express, we need to download the Express session library from NPM. The library Express Session creates a session middleware to handle sessions in Express. Express Session handles everything for us, including creating a session, setting the session cookie, and creating the session object on the request object. And so, as sessions use a cookie to store an ID, we need to create a cookie when we create a session. Before Express Session version 1.5.0, the cookie parser middleware would need to be used alongside Express Session. However, in this article, we've downloaded a later Express Session version. In our package.json, we can see 1.17.3, which takes care of cookie parsing for us. So we don't need to make use of the cookie parser middleware. So we can remove the cookie parser as global middleware from our Express application. To do this, remove this following code. We can also uninstall cookie parser with npm by running npm uninstall cookie parser. Back in our package.json file, we can see it's no longer here. And now let's register express session as global middleware. This will be done inside our main index.js file. This session function that we pass to app.use takes an object as an argument, and one option to pass this object is secret. And what is this session secret? Well, the session secret is used to create a hash to sign the session ID cookie. This prevents the cookie from being tampered with. In other words, signing the session ID cookie allows us to tell if the client modified the cookie. The session cookie set in the client will have the following format. Where here, SID is the session ID and signature is the signature generated by signing the SID with the secret provided to this express session middleware. When the cookie is read, the signature is recalculated and compared to the signature attached to the cookie. Now let's briefly mention session secret security. So the secret provided to the session should actually be a random string of characters that is changed periodically. However, for just demonstration purposes, this will suffice. But so now that our session middleware is up, we can see the session cookie if we start up our application. So let's run our Express application and check the application tab in the browser. So within our application tab, we can see the presence of our cookie here and we can see the format sid.secret, or sorry, sid.signature. We can also customize the session cookie that is set in our browser. So to do this, 
let's add a cookie property to the object provided to the session function. Let's say we want to make it so the cookie is only sent along with requests in a first party context. We can do this by setting same site to strict. If you're curious on the meaning of some of these values, I have actually a video where we go in depth on these cook on cookies, so you can check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. But now let's look back at our cookie, our session cookie in the browser and see what we see. We can now see the presence of the word strict for same site because we set it on the browser by setting same site to strict. And now the pug form that we made a few articles back has been adding users to our database. But now let's change it to login users that are already registered instead. To do this, let's change the controller function that is called when a post request is made to dash login. So replace user.create with user.login in our routes-login-index.js. Now let's create a login method inside our user controller. Add the following to module.exports in controllers-user.js. Now, what we want to do is use SQLize to search for the username and password that were entered into the form. If those two match, then we send the user to their profile. If not, we render the login form again. So the method find one here is a SQLized method that searches for one row in the provided model using the provided arguments. Here, we are searching for a row in our user model where the username and password match the ones provided in the form. If the find one method finds a row with the provided information, it returns it. If not, it will return null. And now remember, the express session middleware creates a session for us. We can access this session object in our middleware using the request.session object. So let's add our user object to the session object if the login was successful. Let's also tag on another property to our session object that tells our application the user has been authorized. Now, if the user already has a session set with the authorized property, then let's skip the login page and send them right to their profile. Add the following to our dash login get route in routes-login-index.js. Now, if we visit the main page with an authenticated session, we'll be directed to our profile page. Now let's talk about deleting the session. So by default, our session cookie will expire when the browser, not the tab, is closed. And this is because the max age and expires column is set to session. As we can see right here. Setting to session means expire when the browser closes. We can easily change this by setting the max age property of the cookie. However, there are times when we want to manually delete the session cookie, such as when the client logs out. To delete the session cookie, we use the method request.session.destroy. So add the following to our routes-logout-index.js file. Now, when the user logs out of the application, the session cookie will be destroyed and they'll be redirected to the login page. And now let's check our changes in action. So let's go to our website. And now let's use a password and username that we store in our database. I'm gonna pull mine up here. And we can see we have wit code and subscribe as our first user. Of course, we shouldn't ever store these in plain text, but as it is, so we have
And so it seems we have this constantly running. So if we check our logs, we can see an error in here. Cannot read property app of undefined within our controller line 33. And if we look here, it's because we have response instead of res. So if we reload this, let's cancel our server, run it again. Let's try logging in one more time. We can see now we're in our profile. So we have wit codes profile, wit code. And now let's see what happens if we access. So let's go to a different route. Let's just go to the home route again. And now let's go back to login. It has found the session and just logs us right into wit codes profile. However, if we press log out, our session is now destroyed. Let's go back to the main page, go back to dash login, and we have to log in again. So this is my video on Express Sessions. Um, I want to thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one.